Impending Motion, Slipping and Tipping. By the end of this section, you should be able to properly apply both normal forces and friction forces into free body diagrams with interacting contacting surfaces. Using these free body diagrams, you will include the normal forces and friction forces then in the equilibrium equations. You'll be able to find at what point a system will be just on the verge of motion, either slipping or tipping, and what either applied force and applied moment, or what a coefficient of friction it would take for it to just be on the verge of motion. And we'll see how to create additional equations in order to test possible scenarios of motion. And finally, we'll be able to determine if under a set of given circumstances and parameters, a system would be in static equilibrium or if it would actually be a dynamic system. So when talking about motion in this course, we're really only talking about impending motion, as this is a statics course, and all of our accelerations must be zero to be in static equilibrium. So our equilibrium equations are still going to be true. We are still imposing that our linear acceleration is zero, therefore sum of forces must still be zero, and our sum of motions must be zero because our angular accelerations are still zero. So things are static and we are considering impending motion. So we are considering when two surfaces are just about to slide relative to each other. Once they are sliding, it would be a dynamic system and outside the scope of this course. Or we are considering when an object is just about to tip. So it's about to lose contact with its support. If it's actively tipping and rotating, it would have an angular acceleration. And again, that's a dynamics problem. So there's two kind of impending motion problems that we are going to be looking at. Uh, kind of the first class under A, what conditions would cause an object to just be about to move, just be about to slip relative to a surface, or just about to tip? So the thought is, if we put any more force than this, or any more of a moment than this, or lowered the coefficient of friction any lower than this amount, the system would actively be moving. So that's what on the verge of motion is. Or a second type of problem is, under given circumstances, would a system be in static equilibrium, or would it actually be a dynamic system in that it would be accelerating? either have a non-zero translational acceleration or a non-zero angular acceleration.